So I want to mention something that if we all listen to, it might actually do all of us a little bit better in the long run. And if another emergency situation comes up and we realize what's going on in our mental state, then, you know, maybe we can do something and we're all better off for it. And, and I just got off a weekend and uh, a period of time where I've been building people their survival kits, training people how to use them giving survival techniques, and part of it is exposing things like the human mental state, things like the only way to 100% ensure you survive a conflict is to avoid the conflict. Well, what's going on with this toilet paper and stuff like that? Well, it's a thing called zero-risk bias. So I'll read the definition partway through, and then I'll explain it in a manner that I hope makes it make sense to everybody. And if you're aware of it and you can control it and we all pass this information along, we're all going to be better in the long run because we're all in this together, right? It's, this is basically a war on this low virus. And in a war, we need all the assets we've got. And you are assets. We are all assets to each other. So listen to this and share it if you could. Zero risk bias is a tendency to prefer the complete elimination of a risk, one or two risks basically, in a subpart even when alternative options produce a greater reduction in risk overall as a whole, the bigger picture. Often it manifests in cases where decision makers address problems concerning health, safety, and the environment. Okay, that's enough of their explanation right there. Uh, I'm going to go full screen here, I believe. Yes, there we go. All right, so zero risk bias, what does that mean? So as human beings, when we get in these bad situations, we like to make ourselves feel better. We like to make ourselves feel secure, our family feels secure. So we assess the risk situation and we see these things coming down the list and we're like, wow, man, this is my number one risk, that risk, that risk, that risk, that risk. There's a lot of stuff to look at. My God, my brain, I'm so stressed, I can't eat, I can't sleep. So then we look at something like toilet paper, which is way down here on your list of really the necessity things that you need uh, to actually bear survive. If there's an emergency and you're looking at actually trying to just survive, toilet paper's down here. Uh, comfort, toilet paper's still not high, high, high. It's still in the middle. But in our brains, we're thinking, I'm going to stockpile all this toilet paper, and I'm going to have enough to last me six months because in our heads, we're eliminating that risk, and it makes us feel like we're doing something productive, something that is making our family safer, something that is making our family more comfortable, which makes perfect sense. We all want to do the best we can for our loved ones. We all want to make sure that they are taken care of to the best of our ability. But what we end up doing is we end up focusing our resources and our time and our assets on getting this thing down here when really we need to spread it out for an overall picture. Basically the example for it was, uh, for the original, was you had examples of a containment site, containment site X and containment site Y, and you had a cleanup procedure that you could take. And one eliminated 50% uh, of the risk from both sites. But the other procedure eliminated 100% of the risk for the other site, but only 25% of the risk for this site. But extraordinarily, people chose the one that eliminated all the risk for this site, but left them more exposed for this site. Because in their heads, they said, well, now I don't have to worry about this. I only have to worry about that. And it's completely understandable. That's human nature. In a survival situation, in a stress situation, we want to be able to sleep at night and honestly, on a selfish level, uh, speaking from a man's standpoint, because I'm a man, that's all I can speak to, we want the ability to be able to tell our loved ones, our wife, our girlfriend, our boyfriend, whatever, I don't care, you're, if you're a bacon double cheeseburger sandwich, then your order of fries, whatever it is, that we have them protected, that we've got them, that they don't have to worry about nothing. And you say, see, sweetheart, look, look, I got enough toilet paper, you don't got to worry about it. But you've spent enough resources on that that you've forgotten about the bigger picture as a whole. Where, as if all of us said, hey, you know what, all we need is like two or three packs. Uh, and we all got two or three packs, well, then we'd all be better off in the long run. And I know, I know, this is barring people who buy to price gouge for, you know, monetary gain. And I'm all for a little bit of price you know, inflation. I understand the risks. Maybe you had some foresight. Foresight. foresight uh, and you said, I saw this thing coming from a mile away and nobody was thinking anything of it and I spent the resources to drive around and collect this stuff. Okay, okay, so you take uh, a 
two dollar thing of hand sanitizer and you charge four bucks for it you know but not sixty dollars that's absurd anyways those are my personal thoughts some of those are going to be a little bit unpopular but that is a reality it's the human brain it's the way we think everything in an emergency situation in a survival situation can get really brought down to these really kind of basics and when you once you understand the basics survival really makes a lot more sense on why people do some of the things that they do and why really if you want to survive a conflict the only way to guarantee your survival is to avoid the conflict I love you guys. I genuinely care about you guys. I just wanted to drop this out there so that way maybe you guys can be like, aha, yeah, 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 okay. Maybe explain it to someone else. Maybe it'll make sense. I don't know. Probably not. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. You guys are smart. You guys are awesome. Get your own information and base your own opinion. Make your own strategy for your own safety that fits your needs. There's not one size fits all. Everything is an individual. That's why I do what I do, you know, during times like this. I'll go into people and individualize according to their needs, their ideas, their location. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.